Hello Nebs fam, this is Neb from Nebs Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you my updated makeup brush cleaning routine and I have done this one, uh, this video before, I think long time back but um, the way I did before was different and the way I'm gonna show you the way I do it now is entirely different. So. Uh, last time when I was washing a lot of my brushes so that's how I got the idea that why why don't I show you when I wash my brushes next time what I do now before I move ahead uh, and show you how I do it I would like to tell you that there's a giveaway going on on my channel and I will put the video down in the description box First of all, I would like to thank each one of you who are trying really, really hard and uh, I really got a good response until now and all the details will be in the video, the rules and uh, everything, you know, so you can check it out. But one thing I would like to tell you that uh, very few, I would say like one or two have, um, I would say followed all the rules. rules because one of the rule which is to go to my website uh, comment on any of the post you like only one or two people have followed that rule so please go ahead and do that because like i said before in the giveaway video that i am going to check everything people are subscribing they're following on instagram all that uh, good thing but hardly one or two people have gone to my website and commented on the you know the post so i don't want your you know your hard work go to waste and so many of your friends are supporting you which is great so i don't want even their effort going to a waste so please 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 go to my website comment on any any of the post you would like so just do that because that's also one of the rule if you would go to the description box of that giveaway video like i told you in that particular video that you have to have to check the description box also just in case and i had put the uh, the website uh, part of the rule on the screen of that web uh, of that video so you have to make sure that you follow all the rules i absolutely absolutely don't want your guys hard work to go waste so please you still have some time please go ahead and do it and let's get start this video so let's see what we need first to uh, clean the brushes first of all the spray bottle any spray bottle will do so the next thing we need is the dishwashing liquid and I have this at home so you can use whatever the dishwashing liquid you have and uh, that will do. The next thing we need is the uh, oil and I'm using extra virgin olive oil. You can also use uh, almond oil. I'm not sure about the coconut uh, oil but uh, definitely you can use olive oil or almond oil last thing which you would need is water definitely to mix everything so I poured about uh, um, one tablespoon and a half so one and a half tablespoon of uh, the dishwashing liquid you can add according to the uh, how concentrated your uh, dish liquid is mine is uh, really you know very soapy so i used less about like i said one and a half tablespoon you can adjust accordingly you can use more if it is less concentrated so just ac adjust accordingly So now I am adding the oil about a tablespoon. So there is no particular measurement like you know there is no uh, set measurement. So you have to just add the oil uh, so that your brushes like get conditioned. So just to condition the brushes we add oil. 
so i added the water now i'm shaking so that everything gets mixed and i use this spray bottle and if you think this is a lot and you know as a youtuber i clean my brushes like every other week or something like that so but if you have a smaller spray bottle that will do too just reduce the quantity maybe to the half or depends on the size of the spray bottle using so let's start cleaning i'm going to clean these brushes so i'm i have just few brushes to clean like i said i had cleaned a few days back a lot of my brushes and this morphe sponge i'm going to clean in front of you and one more thing uh, you know this is a facial plastic scrub i don't know what do you call it exactly and i use this uh, you can get it in any departmental store store i believe uh, so this is for facial so i use it to clean brushes and sponge what happens is when i use anything else you know meant for the brushes or sponges i have seen that my sponges were getting torn and you know they were coming out from here and there so i didn't want to i didn't want to do that so this this one is very very soft it doesn't tear my sponge how I clean the brushes first I wet the brush the dirty brush then I'm going to uh, you know spray the solution please make sure to shake it because of the oil and then I take that facial thing cleaner or whatever you call it and then I am just going to you know clean like this you can see in between I wet it clean So I just take like under the water, I'm trying to save water. So that's why just a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, I switch on the water and then I wash rest or see if this is clean. Now I just wash so that there is no soap left like few times like this. Just making sure there's no soap left. So just removing the excess water and yeah I do this on the dry mat making sure the all the water is you know gone same thing on the next brush wet the brush put the solution and do this thing same thing basically repeat the step. So do the same thing on the small brushes also with the brush uh, spray one or twice on the solution and basically the same thing whether it's a big brush small brush big brush you would just spray a little bit more and if it is more dirty then you know depends like that you can adjust now I'm trying to show you how to do a uh, sponge cleaning I'm making sure every the solution is like you know mixed and I'm spraying on the area where it is dirty so before this you have to make sure your sponge is fully wet like when you use it how you do it and then yeah on the same facial scrub I am just uh, you know um, scrubbing on the areas where it's more dirty so I keep adding water and I keep adding the solution if I feel the solution is less because I don't want to make the sponge very soapy then later on it takes a lot of time to you know remove all the soap so I just do like a spot spray kind of a thing because I don't want to spray the soap uh, everywhere where it's not dirty so I just like you can see I just do this and you can see the sink how much the foundation is coming out. So yeah, like I told you, I'm doing like, I check and clean and now I'm clean, cleaning and uh, removing all these soaps. So just press, release, press, release. When you release, make sure it, you know, absorbs the water, then you release. Now it's absolutely clean. So as you can see, my sp Morphe sponge is clean. My brushes are clean. 
I hope you like this video and if you did please don't forget to uh, click on the subscribe button down below and also hit that notification bell just to know my future videos please do that and follow me on all my social media the links are down below also check out my website and before I say goodbye once again please go to my website and uh, comment on the any on any of the posts so that you enter uh, you know uh, into this giveaway like you complete all the rules please please do that i'm reminding you again so i'll see you in my next video bye